My name is Melissa Keaton. I'm a photographer and a digital artist from Australia. So I'm more of an artist than a photographer. I do use a lot of Photoshop in my work. Sometimes it's just to enhance an image, but other times I do add a lot of special effects and change backgrounds and things like that. Uh, I, just, I just like to create more fantastical images that you, know, you just can't photograph otherwise. I absolutely love anything that sparks the imagination and basically anything that hints at another world out there that you know, takes us beyond our own reality. I actually started out as a computer programmer um, but honestly, the 8 to 5 daily grind and the 40 plus hour weeks just kind of fried my brain. Because programming, it's, I would say it's about 90% technical and like 10% creative. And that just really wasn't a good balance for me. I've been doing photography on a professional level since 2015. That's when I graduated from my diploma in photo imaging in Australia. I came to Canada right after that pretty much. Uh, and I've been involved in the cosplay community ever since. I've been wanting to do a scene recreation photo shoot for quite a while now actually. So I figured just why not do a competition for it? You know, it's like a great way to give back to the cosplay community and all the people who've supported me in my work. And it's just another great way to acknowledge the hard work that cosplayers put into bringing their own characters to life. Hi, I'm Stacey Archer, also known as Breakfast Cosplay on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, today I'm doing a photo shoot for 707 from Mystic Messenger. Mostly I was looking for an image that had something interesting going on in it. I really wanted the cosplayer to get the most value out of what I was offering. So, you know, I was looking for things like a cool background, special effects, a strong pose that wouldn't just take me 30 seconds to shoot, and overall just an evocative image. When I found out I won the competition, I was super excited. Um, I don't, I do get some photo shoot opportunities, but I've never gotten an opportunity with Melissa yet. So when she started a contest, I'm like, yes, this is it. I went with Stacey's entry mostly because, you know, it is a screenshot straight out of the game and it gives you a really clear idea of the character and his interactions with the player, as well as just the game itself. Uh, what I liked about the image that I picked was it is from uh, one of the loading screens in the game where he says, let's marry on the space station. And I thought it was super cute, super fun. While I was playing the game and that loading screen popped up, I felt he was looking into my eyes like it was real. It was a real connection that I felt. <laughs> so uh, it has a lot of fun elements in it too. And I'm very familiar with uh, Melissa's style and she's really good at those kind of special effects and backgrounds. So I thought this would be a really interesting project for her too. So it really has that story element behind it. And that's something that I specifically like to capture in my photos. And, you know, I just also really like Stacey's entry, just because it's something different from the norm. What I like about the character is initially when you first are introduced to 707, he's kind of a troll. He's super fun. He's super crazy. He has a really interesting style aesthetically, which I was immediately drawn to. Um, and of course, as you start the route, I won't give away anything, but his character really does like a 180 and it goes so much deeper than you think it will and you're really invested in the character, so. Now, while it looks like a fairly simple image to recreate, uh, there were actually a few challenging elements to it. We had to shoot everything separately so I could put it together in Photoshop afterwards. There were things like Stacy's outfit, the clothes were all like floating in the air. There was a hoodie, the necklace, the shirt. Um, and then obviously the chips floating in the air and you know Stacy's expression. Um, a lot of people actually have trouble winking and holding a wink for photos, but Stacy actually did a really good job of that. We shot for about two hours in the studio just to cover everything and make sure I had enough options to work with in Photoshop. And then when I got all the images in Photoshop, it took me about eight hours to actually fit everything together properly. But after that, the editing was pretty straightforward. I'm here today to see the final image and I'm very excited. I have no idea how it's gonna look. I'm a little scared, but I'm mostly excited. <laughs> So when I finally saw the final image, I didn't think it was me at first. Um, it was, it looks exactly like the screen cap and I don't know who this is, but he looks beautiful. 
and I want to meet him. <laughs> it's just so interesting to see how all of the hours we spent working on the little details all come together, and I think it's worth it. I was blown away when I saw it. I was speechless. <laughs> I was really excited to see Stacy's reaction to the image today. Just seeing that in person is something that, to me, really makes all the hard work worth it. I'm really pleased with the final result myself, and I'm absolutely thrilled that Stacy loves it as well.